Hi, are you a retiree or coming up towards retirement? What do you believe about retirement? Now remember, beliefs are very powerful and heartfelt beliefs extremely powerful. But are they the truth? What's more powerful than a heartfelt belief? Knowing. Knowing. That's the big difference. A belief is an idea held in your mind. A knowing is something experienced with the body. And now it becomes a combination of body and mind. And it is far closer to the truth of what it's really like, what things really are. Now I've been retired now for 28 years, took voluntary redundancy at 59 and I'm now 87. So I've had a fair bit of experience in the world of a retiree. Now I'm very well aware that not all retirees are like me. Each one of us is different. Each one of us has a different background, sometimes very different backgrounds. And yet in retirement, we know this. We are in the the last part. You might divide the book of your life into three parts. Being young, the educational, then going on the journey through middle age, And then into part three. Now part three can be a long, long time. In the Western world, we all know now that people are retiring at around, say, 60, 65, and living for another couple of decades, sometimes three, sometimes well over three. I'm coming up to 30 years in a couple of years' time, so that is a long time to be retired. And I've had experience in it. So what have I learned? What I've learned can be found in the many videos that I've placed on YouTube so far and will continue to place because I can't tell all about my life in one short video. But I can tell you this. Those four so-called phases to retirement are common to the many. With me, I retired in stage three, already seeking what will I do with my retirement and searching and, I think, finding phase phase four, the phase that everyone wants. But you, you're liable to go through all four. The exhilaration of being retired, the freedom, I don't have to go to work tomorrow, I don't have to shave, I don't have to change my shirt if I don't want to. But that passes fairly quickly. The holiday period, the honeymoon period as they call it, and then begins that stage which a lot of people find very disillusioning. What am I going to do now? I can't be on holiday all my life. I can't afford it and it gives me no meaning anyway. So then you go into stage two. And this is a dangerous stage indeed. Marriages break up, people turn to the drink, there's even suicides. I don't want to sound too pessimistic, but there is a period there after the honeymoon period whereby there's a lot of soul searching goes on and this is where retirement can, in a way, make or break a person. But if you go into stage three and think, well, I can't put up with this anymore. I've got to do something. You've already entered stage three. Now, stage three can take a long while searching for what you really want to do. And quite likely, you'll find it's been something that you've been doing and enjoying doing all of your life. But as a hobby, as a pastime not as an income earner. Now, you could say, I'm now going to turn this into an income earner. 
you're no longer retired if you do that. I'm not saying you should go back to work or not. That's up to you. But then begins, eventually you will find what you want to do and you'll be in stage four. I hope you've got something out of this video and I ask that you at least, if you like these videos, subscribe to them and watch further ones as I put them out there. It's my intention to keep on doing this until I run out of material. But the way I'm going at the moment, it seems I never will.